When we were younger, you started off with the look you gave, I spread over and over among us. When we were younger, when we were younger, I had in mind to keep an eye on you. Won't you fill the room without a whisper? When we were younger, and I held my breath, and like it was my last one, but you stayed it right in front of us. You stayed it right in front of us. When we were younger. Sit around to see your point of view. Watch you give an inch and take the moment there. When we were younger, and still I had my breath and like it was my last one. But you stayed it right in front of us. You stayed it right in front of us. I saw you for the first time. I know I felt like this before. It reminds me what I've been missing here. Every memory, every moment. It reminds. For the first time. Come together today in the presence of God and before friends and family to unite Skylar and Grace as husband and wife. The ceremony today is a testimony of your love for each other. You've chosen to have a Christian ceremony today, and that is a testimony of your love for God. This love is being shared with your family and friends who have gathered here today. Who gives this woman to this man? Her mother and I. Grace. Looking back on our first date, I would have never imagined this day would come, especially after you met some of my friends that night. I definitely thought they would have scared you away. Fast forwarding to March 28, 2015, I had finally convinced you that there was no one else out there better than me and you should be my girlfriend. From that day to day, our love has grown stronger, we've become closer, overcame obstacles, and never left, lost track of our dreams. On January 2nd, I made the best decision I've ever made, and that was choosing you to be my wife. I will always choose you over and over again. Now that we are here, I couldn't have imagined choosing anyone else but you to go through this life's journey with. I love your smile, your laugh, your caring nature, and your face when you see a random dog when we're out walking through. Him. I promise to support you, honor you, be a godly husband, and to love you unconditionally. Even when we may disagree on something like the choice of your terrible music in the car, or if we really have to watch The Bachelor that night, to say I love you and good night before falling asleep each night, and when challenges arise, we'll always find our way back to one another. I will not take our time together for granted because words cannot do it. I promise to show you for the rest of my life how much I love you. From this day forward, you will never walk alone. I will hold your hand through the good times and through the bad times. I promise to be loyal, faithful, and to put you before all else. Grace, you are my everything, and this is my promise to you, forever and always. Scholar, I don't know where to begin other than to say I am thankful for the man that stands before me today to become my husband. 
You have always been a steady hand to hold, my best friend, and the anchor that holds me to the ground, and the man that I have always prayed for. We started this journey together as teenagers, not knowing where it would where it would take us because we were just having fun. I never guessed that the boy that took me home at 3 a.m. after the first two dates we went on would become my husband and the father, father to our future children one day. You best believe Dad and Mom met me at the kitchen countertop the second night. They were scared that long-haired, baseball-playing, Phil Campbell boy would change their daughter's life. Little did they know he did. Skylar, you have shown me what unconditional love is. You pushed me to be the best version of myself. You're funny. You're one heck of a dancer. He'll show up later, I promise. <laughs> I pray that we would always lean on each other no matter how high the water gets or how low the valleys become. I vow to always pray over you. I vow to always love you. I vow to honor you, respect you, follow you, and trust in you. I pray that we always laugh and cry together. I pray we love more with each day. I vow to be a wife that you can always lean on. I vow to always be by your side. I am still in disbelief that God would give me the chance to be your wife and to show you the kind of love that He has promised. There is no easier task or bigger privilege than being your wife. I promise to be patient, or I should start being patient. <laughs> I promise to be understanding. I promise to make sure you know your sacrifices do not go unnoticed. And I promise to make sure you know you are loved every single day. Last but not least, I promise to learn to cook something that doesn't come out of a box <laughs> or that is frozen. I can't say I'll ever live up to your Nana, but I promise to feed you something besides pizza rolls. <laughs> I can't wait to be your wife and I love you so much. Skyler and Grace, it is my pleasure to announce at this time that you are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Skylar, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Skylar Tackett. They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. For the first time, I believe it to be true. All of my friends say When you know, you know Every piece falls into place When I'm with you When you have found the love That sets me free You are the best thing That ever happened to me When you I really never liked any of the boys in age. I think, well, it's, it's really nothing personal, man, but I do think that most parents in here, at least most fathers, can relate to that. Uh, now, saying that, Skyler stuck it out, and he's earned my respect. I've seen how Skyler and Grace interact. 
and the business in peace to see how they treat each other. Feel